In this video, we will be touring Jackie and John F. Kennedy's marital homes. While they were married, they lived in a total of eight different homes, and not including vacation homes belonging to their parents or extended family members. In December of 1953, John F. Kennedy and Jackie signed their first lease as a newly married couple here at 3321 Dent Place Northwest in Washington, D.C. The home is a red brick townhouse built in 1942. It contains four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a basement. The classic Georgetown home has retained many of its period details, including wide board Canadian oak floors, an expansive dining room with real oak molding, a sun-filled living room with lovely views overlooking the garden, and a wood-burning fireplace. All of the home's original architectural interior features have remained the same, but paint colors, furnishings, and various fittings have changed drastically over the years. The home's backyard is done in an English garden style, complete with a profusion of purple bearded irises and white peonies. There is an all-brick walkway that leads to a fully detached garage. The couple lived in the 2,187 square foot home for just under two years. Hickory Hill was purchased on October 15, 1955 for $125,000. It is an elegant 18-room white brick Georgian mansion that presides over 5.6 acres dotted with beautiful hickory trees and massive oaks. The couple sought refuge, desiring a home on the Potomac River in McLean. Originally built in the 1870s, it contains nine bedrooms and 14 and a half bathrooms. In 1957, after Jackie suffered a miscarriage, the home became a painful reminder of the event. So they decided to return to Georgetown to live selling the property to Robert F. Kennedy, JFK's brother. Jackie and John bought their own home in Hyannis Port in 1956 at 111 Irving Avenue, right behind JFK's father's home.
Used as a summer residence, the house was built in 1925 and comprised of nine bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and almost an acre of land. The home was 4,500 square feet and completed the trio of the Kennedy compound. The furnishings were cozy, comfortable, and mostly all American. Here, tasteful parties and family gatherings would occur. After moving out of Hickory Hill, John and Jackie returned to Washington to a three-bedroom, two-bathroom townhouse. But quickly, the 22,000 square foot home proved to be a little too small after the birth of their daughter, Caroline. They decided then to relocate in Washington, D.C. to 3307 North Street. The home was built in 1811 and done in the classic federal period style. It was here that newborn John Jr. grew up in the four-bedroom, four-bathroom home with just over 4,000 square feet. They left this home for the White House on Inauguration Day, January 20th, 1961. As they moved into the White House in 1961, the First Lady oversaw one of the largest renovations in the White House's history, restoring and transforming it into a showcase for American presidential history. Many antiques once owned by former presidents and national treasures were returned to the White House, all thanks to Jackie's passion for conservation. The rooms we see now were the private quarters of the Kennedys. Here was JFK's bedroom, masculine and colonial in style. It even housed a TV. Jackie's room was lighter and much more feminine. It was the larger of the two and allowed for spaces to read, relax, and unwind. The room housed many antiques that she would continue to take with her into the various homes and apartments which she would live in after the White House. In February of 1961, the Kennedys began to lease Glen Ora, a 400-acre property in Middleburg, Virginia. It was the family's first country retreat where Jackie could pursue her equestrian hobby and the children could run and play without the photographers capturing their every move. The Kennedys loved the property so much that they tried to buy it off of the owners, but they were not willing to part with it. So instead, they bought a plot of land nearby and constructed their own country estate. Construction of the house was completed in 1963, comprising of four bedrooms and four bathrooms on one single story, 
situated on a lot of 167 acres. Unfortunately, it was most likely only visited by JFK twice before his unfortunate death. Pictured here we can see the home's interiors now versus how they were when Jackie owned the property. Helping to design the home, she took inspiration from magazines, cutting out pages and writing notes on the sides. The home featured stunning pastoral grounds with beautiful amenities, gardens and landscapes. Tell me in the comments which Jackie and John F. Kennedy marital home was your favorite and why. See you in the next video.